Hi, good day everyone. Yeah, welcome to our channel once again. So today actually make um, this particular file we are managing the five and this video was produced on the day on the 29th of um, October 2023. As in so, so as you can see what I'm doing here is iPhone. And then I actually want to do you back to the notification for some of my students who have been having challenge in siphoning. So let me explain what I'm doing. So I can see I am picking the deaths. And this death, I want to explain it very well. These deaths are some of the shell. It's the shell of the of the fish eggs and some of the hashed eggs that remain. So while picking them out, you see that I'm going to pick them together with some fries. I mean good number of fries. So after picking them out, the next thing I'm going to do is to separate the fry from the from the dead and I'll return them back. So when is the best time to do siphoning? Like what I do, I teach people what I have been doing for a very long time that have been giving me results and that is what I'm going to explain to you. I normally do a uh, siphoning from the four. Um, sometimes the three depending on how active the fish are how active they are finish. because um sure? for those who siphon on the one mainly is because of when they don't use the right boost up they have a lot of white eggs a lot of dirty in their pond so they have to stretch themselves to do that siphon but in our own case um most of the fish or rather almost all of them we hash so all we have to do is to remove the Few debris and sometimes these fries feed on the debris and then we may not siphon in that particular bag like this one I just let me do a demonstration to teach us how to siphon and siphoning is also very very good one of the advantage is that it makes your pond to be very very neat and healthy thereby minimizing um, bacteria or bacteria actions in the pond so it's also it's very very important just the way you sweep your room to maintain your hatchery pond your incubation pond and your nursery tanks to ensure that they are always neat they are always neat this will help to minimize bacteria attack because if you don't do that someday it will hit on your fries and you will lose all of them so like as i said this particular video is prepared to do a live um, demonstration on how to siphon okay so for those of you that called me last week asking how do i siphon from what day should i start siphoning so my even ask when should i stop siphoning siphoning does not even have a time that you stop because especially for those of you that know how to overfeed very well so you need to make sure you are removing the debris and the dirty from fed food from the fry else it will get polluted so like we, what we do, we normally apply hash cleanser. So the hash cleanser helps to neutralize the effects of the ammonia builder that may come up as a result of unfed feed and debris. So that is why we encourage you, if you really desire success, one of the basic steps you have to follow is to get our manuals that you read and um, register for mentorship training. So we can upgrade you on the basic things that we normally do that help our fry to survive and not just survive you see them energetic they are doing well they grow and the good thing is that when you are doing this business and you're not having mortality it will not be giving head that you'll be you'll be enjoying it and when you're having mortality every day you'll be crying you'll be having heart attack so please i will encourage you if you're among those set of people that have been having challenge and severe mortality know either fish college is actually actually have to help breeders to be successful so if you watch most of our video we dwell more on catfish breeding because we know that a lot of persons are having challenge in that area so we we'll encourage you to register for the training within a couple of months you will get master to this system and you yourself will be very very happy with the results you are seeing so we wish you all the best and we are so sure you have learned something from this particular video do not fail to subscribe if you have not done that do not fail to like do not fail to comment do not fail to drop your questions any question that we have not responded you can still highlight us on it okay so and we encourage more of you 
try get a manual gravity guitar for mentorship so I can be guided properly on how you can maximize or make good success in your business. Thank you so much, my good luck continue to prosper your business as you proceed. You are blessed. Yeah, it's pretty good. 